I was in Iraq during Operation Iraqi Freedom 2. And this was basically all of 2004 and part of 2005. Right? I was a battalion surgeon for the 1st Cavalry Division. Well, that was pretty unexpected. It kind of happened on short notice, and uh, it's nothing you can plan for, anything like that. It happened pretty suddenly. He had been hiding in a hole prior, and he had been on the run for several months, so it was basically making sure that he didn't acquire anything from that. So it was basically just a medical checkup to make sure nothing bad is being missed before he's a detainee. Um, he was pretty cooperative and you know in the emergency room a lot of times we have to be ready for agitated patients whether they're on drugs or some sort of stimulants you know there's an epidemic right now with uh, many illicit substances so we're ready to sedate a patient if we need to in order to get a full exam but we did not need to do that it was basically a, he was cooperative and he did an exam you know, my greatest memory is taking care of the heroes who served. And those are the people you don't hear their names, you don't see their faces, but they sacrificed in ways. And, you know, in the horrors of war, there are so many acts of heroism, humanity, and that human spirit comes out. And that's what basically sticks out to me the most. And that's what motivates me now to continue to help a population, injured veterans, as they come back to this nation. And this is a great opportunity because we're corresponding, you know, we're coordinating, uh, spreading the word about hospice, Tidewell Hospice, and injured veterans, two great causes.